Hello everyone, Cap here and welcome to Drill Core. What do you get when you combine Deep Rock Galactic and Dome Keeper? Well, it's this game. You basically command a team of miners during the day and you fight off alien bugs and defend your base during the night. Let's check it out. This is a playtest going on right now, so if you want to join, you can go on Steam and try and enter the playtest there. I will leave a link down below. So this isn't out yet, but it is already amazing. I, I played like uh, a little bit of this and I will definitely get this when it comes out. This is awesome. This is already so polished as well. And the principle of this game, the core mechanics of this game are so good. Let me show you. Okay, so first up, we just got into the first map here, into the first assignment, whatever you want to call it, and we get started. Hold enter to start drilling down. Let's do that. And unpause, of course. Uh, and this is our platform here. We are drilling down, and our goal is to drill down deep enough. So top left here is our goal. We are now 50 meters deep. And each time we drill down here with this ability that I just used, we drill 50 meters. But to use it, we need four coal. So we will need to find four coal now to continue drilling down with our entire platform. And once we reach 150 meter depth, we will be able to extract and basically win here. All right, so here we go. I can click these blocks and now my miners here will go and mine, obviously, or drillers, they are called, I think. And I also have one carrier and one military dude. Uh, what is the actual name of that? I need to... Okay, I will, <laughs> I will see in a second. Uh, gunner or whatever. Um, however, doesn't matter right now, he's not really doing much at the moment. For now we just mine down here and our goal right now is to find resources. Mainly the main resource we need to continue is the coal here for this, but there are other resources which we can use to create or build uh, buildings here. We have three buildings available right now. The barracks which we can use to recruit more units, so more drillers, carriers, gunners. Um, an iron factory, which will create iron over time. It's like a passive uh, iron generation, which is very good. Uh, or laboratory, which allows to upgrade units. We actually have nine iron right now, so we could build some stuff and we should. Uh, let's build a barracks and also an iron factory. Additionally, here on the sides of the walls um, are five slots for guns and these guns you can equip here and you should equip for the night time. At least some of them you will need. And yeah, we will do that when it comes to it. Actually, we can do it now because it costs zero right now. I think the first, yeah, it does say here, the first two turrets are free. So yeah, free is good, obviously. Uh, let's get these fast shooting minigun turrets for now. The first waves of bugs are usually like small, fast bugs kind of. And this one is harder hitting for bigger enemies that don't come in the beginning. So let's uh, go for two of these for free. And we continue. Okay, this here we want to mine ASAP because if we don't mine it fast enough, a bug will spawn and attack our dudes. That's why we need this military guy, by the way. He's there to protect our other units. Yeah, we collect different resources. I'm still not sure what this one is. I feel like this one also spawns units, but over time and multiple if you don't get rid of it. This one just spawns one. Hey, also we <laughs> didn't kill it fast enough. Uh, so now our military dude will take care of them, uh, of this one bug. And here we just generated some iron here passively from this and we collect and now it regenerates again. And once it's full, we can get another iron. Let me pause again, uh, because I would like to spend some iron here to get more units. So right now we have four out of seven slots, so we can buy three more and we should buy more. Uh, let's get two more drillers probably and one carrier. For now, just one driller though. They take a little bit of time to get recruited. And yeah, we just mine here and look for the good resources. 
Uh, the red resource we also need for no, not for recruiting, but for buildings and stuff. Okay, this again. Also, you just left click blocks and select them like this. And if you right click, you can remove the selection. And you can also left click twice and then it looks like this. And this has priority now, so they will focus on this one. Collect. Okay, still too slow though. <laughs> Another bug spawned, but luckily we have some firepower going on. That can protect us. Okay, here we go. Let's collect another one. Or collect a uh, recruit, rather. Uh, now we get a carrier. Okay, can we get this fast enough? I, f I feel like we still will be too slow here. Also, the day is almost over. I just got a warning. And when the day is over, the night comes. And during the night, you need to defend at the top. And you can't mine down here. Because there's a mechanic going on that prevents you. Okay, I just pressed R to uh, rec uh, recall all my dudes. So they all come up. And why you want to do that is because of this here. Look, yep, there's some worm action going on that you want to avoid. And yeah, now bugs are coming from the top here and are trying to get to our building, core building here. Which we need to defend. However, these two cannons are good enough to deal with the first wave here. Easy peasy. And day two. Once that is done, day two immediately commences. Let's mine this and this. Okay. Uh, this yellow one is a meta resource, by the way. Yeah, if I press pause, these three resources here are meta resources, which you can use in the main menu to upgrade, yeah, get meta upgrades. And um, you only get those though if you successfully extract. So if you die at any point, you will not get what you collected so far. You need to actually finish the mission. And yeah, finishing the mission is at 150 meter depth, then we can extract. So let's continue here, get another thriller. And get rid of this thing before it spawns stuff, I guess. It looks like eggs, right? So I think it spawns bugs over time. Not fully sure. Okay, collect this whenever it's up, of course. And we just collected one of these green capsules. Uh, we found them somewhere here, we, we mined them out. And whenever you collect a green capsule, then you get a random building unlock random technology so let's see what it says mining turret launches up to seven explosive mines in front of it effective at the bottom of the mine shaft oh this can mine for us interesting uh, radar active daytime ability for some time it allows you to see all the resources on the current level each building of this type further increases the ore display time by 12 seconds Ah, huh. okay, I guess it will show all the nodes of, yeah, coal and iron and everything in here that we can't see for a bit. Improves the attack rate of all explosive type turrets. Um, I kind of want this active ability. This sounds very strong. If you know where to mine to get everything, right? Or we just mine faster. Actually, let me get this one. I kind of want to see this. So now we can build this here. Can we? Can we not? I'm still not sure I understand this correctly. Is this mining or is it just putting down mines for the enemies to fly into and protect us here? We will see. I will just build it. Uh, let's get it here. Launches up to seven explosive mines in front of it. Effective at the bottom of the mine shaft. I'm not sure what that means, effective at the bottom. Uh, okay, I put it here at the bottom slot, I guess. Let's build this once. I want to see this. Might not be the best uh, choice to build it right now, but it's okay. I'm curious. Also, let's get rid of this as we can. And we got another green capsule. Periodically shoots rockets during the night. Oh, this is... I think this is a building and not a tower. So we build it as a regular building and it helps defend. Periodically shoots bullets during the night or block revealer. 
Uh, active daytime ability allows you to uncover the fog of war. Each building of this type further increases the radius. Um, so this allows us to reveal some area down here so we know better where to go. But let's go for some rocket action. Is it a building here? It is. Okay. So we can put down a building here potentially to help defend if we need it. All right. Uh, we can also press Q, by the way, to speed up time a little bit. So everything moves faster. I will do that at some point, but for now it's all right. Keep mining, get the iron here, and okay. It just litters the place here with mines, I guess. Ah, huh. okay. We will see. I think I saw... In my previous run, I saw some bug attack me and they shoot. And I feel like they stand around here and then shoot. <laughs> so I'm not sure they will actually fly into the mines. Also, a bug just came out of here somewhere and killed something. We only have, yeah, three miners. I think we lost a miner, so we get another one. And here's some coal, by the way, this here. This is what we need to progress the mission get this okay uh do we get another building we could just get another barracks right away we should probably barracks increases the limit by three when we get a second barracks here or another back each barracks increases the limit by three so we probably want that let's actually get one more guard Uh, day is almost over here, so we need to soon get our dudes back up. Oh man, can't get this one right now, can I? Yeah, okay, already spawning. It's alright. Get this one, and okay, let's recall everyone. Don't want them to die to the worm. Okay, still small dudes, would be fine hopefully. Also let's see if this uh, mine is coming in handy now or not. Actually, probably the turrets are still taking care of everything here. It's still pretty easy. Yeah, <laughs> this is useless right now. Maybe at some point it will come into effect. Okay. Let's finish this. Easy peasy. And continue mining. Uh, also, let's recruit more. Uh, get one more carrier, I believe. Actually, yeah, one more carrier and one more driller. Want to progress through this here and get all the resources as fast as possible, ideally. Active nighttime ability allows you to unleash a barrage of bullets. Each building of this type further decreases or increases damage by 30%. Uh, or mortar, effective against groups of enemies, launches explosive projectiles in a big radius or big range. Uh, yeah, I like this one. Mortar sounds good. I need something that's AOE damage. I don't have anything yet. Okay, get rid of this we can in time. And get another... what did I want? Another carrier, I think. Do I need three carriers? Yeah, maybe. Okay, now we are kind of done for a bit, I think, with recruiting. Uh, let's get actually a new building here. Uh, the laboratory. And we can improve everything here. So, more health on my workers so they die, don't die as easily to the bugs that ran randomly spawn down there. Jetpack upgrade increases the speed of workers. That sounds very good. Uh, drill mining speed increase or the damage increase of the guards. Oh, they are called guards, by the way. Um, let's go more speed, I guess. These blocks have a shield symbol. I think they are harder to mine. Uh, laser turret... 
This lasered enemy is in a huge radius. If the target has less than half their HP, the laser deals triple damage to it. Ooh. Improves the attack rate of all explosive type turrets. Periodically shoots bullets during the night. Um, let's try this one. Laser sounds pretty cool. Okay, I think it's this block here that gives all surrounding blocks more health. So we want to take this one out. Uh, weakening laser. Shoot lasers at enemies. Imposes a weakness effect on enemies. They take two times damage. Oh, like a debuff tower. That's cool. Improves the attack rate of all energy type turrets. Okay, let's get this one. I don't have that many slots for turrets right now. Only five total and only two left. That I can actually use. Um, also, let's upgrade the driller speed. Okay. We're doing fine for now. Might want to buy one more turret for the night. If I can. Oh, bug already came out. I wonder if there's there's probably some medic station or something at some point that can heal your dudes. Also, let's actually get a ah uh, not right now. I want a second iron factory, I think. Oh, we could do this actually. Let's try this. The rocket watchtower periodically shoots rockets during the night. Let's do this one. Uh, that helps uh, with defending here right now. Oh, this again will spawn probably and we need to recall in a second yeah recall 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 run boy <laughs> okay got out in time hey there are the rockets Ooh. okay they are pretty good How often do they shoot though okay it's reloading right now not shooting again yeah okay should be fine though. Can we buy anything else? We cannot. Okay, we need to defend like this. Hopefully that's good enough. Oh, there are big boys coming. Don't have the best big boy damage right now, I believe. Okay, we have these here though, on the right side at least. Left side is a bit weak. I need to build a turret here next. On the left side, for sure. Oh, is this even shooting left? Uh oh. Is it only shooting here? Oh no! Okay, positioning matters. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will. I will uh, fix. Well, not fix. I will buy definitely a next uh, turret here to help out with defending. And this guy, yeah, just shot my core once. It's not a ton of damage, uh, so that should be fine. We continue. Let's speed up. Get the iron. We want to build anything else, right? Oh, right, we wanted to build an iron factory. So now this produces faster. Get this. A new technology. Man, I can't build so much. <laughs> I get so much technology, but I don't have space or resources to build all of this. Uh, active nighttime ability allows you to launch rockets. Each building of this type further increases damage. Active nighttime ability. Small radius, huge firepower, shoots explosive projectiles. Which one is this? Allows you to make one turret temporarily shoot 67% faster. Um, okay, let's get the active nighttime ability, but I don't have space right now. All my slots here are taken. What I could do, um, I can start building a second uh, story. Is it story? Two story building? Um, you build this and then on top you can build new buildings. However, they will be more expensive the higher you go. So, yeah. There is that downside. 
Okay, here's more coal. How much do we... We still only have one. We need to find all the coal here. Where's the coal? Oh, there's one more. And then we need another one. Okay, we definitely need something here. Also, let's like this. Uh, which turret do we want? The group turret should be further up, I feel like, and not as the last. Also not the weakening turret, laser turret. Let's try the laser turret. Also has a lot of range, 20 range, it's very long. Let's try that. Let's see all this is. Oh, there is. Okay. We found all the coal. We just need to mine and collect. Also, we need to retreat. And here we go. Oh, yeah, the laser turret. The range, though. Okay, can you kill the big boys, maybe? That would be kind of neat. Could build another one. Oh my god, why are they all coming on the left, though? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> my right side is so much stronger. Okay, laser, do your thing. Okay, now they take multiple or triple damage or something, right? I can actually upgrade... Oh, I didn't talk about this yet. I, you can upgrade turrets as well. Uh, increase the shooting speed of the turret. Maybe we do that, actually, on the laser turret here right now. Definitely need that damage right now, I feel like. Okay, last one. Hey, didn't even take damage. Okay, now we gotta collect the remaining coal and then we can go down another notch, like 50 meters. It's always 50 meters, I guess. Another technology. Slows enemies? Nah, just kill enemies instead of slowing enemies. Oh, let's just get this. Active daytime ability allows you to uncover the fog of war. I don't have space. Uh, I don't want to go into the second story here right now. It's fine. Okay, I believe I got everything. Maybe there's something in here. You don't need to get everything. You can just leave. Uh, as long as you got all the coal, you can just go down further. Uh, active nighttime ability allows you to unleash a barrage of bullets. Creates a ray that blocks enemies until they destroy it. Effective against groups of enemies. Fires a projectile that will temporarily explode in an area. Fireworks turret. Okay, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I want to see fireworks. Can we build that? We can. Okay, I want to see this one. Uh, we will make the right side even stronger now. It is what it is. I don't have space on the left. So once we go down further... We can... Okay, press enter here to go down further and now drilling next morning. So you have this day left. And then you need to survive the night and at the start of the next day you will go down further with your platform here and unlock the new next area. Okay, we should probably unlock the next uh, story here. Also, what I was about to say, when you go down you unlock more wall slots as well. You can build more turrets and you need them for sure. Okay, let's also speed up, by the way. And we got everything here. Let's just collect everything. I think we collected everything. So, now we are done. Let's just recall already. And now we wait for night. Actually, night immediately begins here. The second we have everything recalled. Okay, let's see the fireworks turret. I want to see fireworks. Oh, yeah, the mini... Oh, is it burning as well? I didn't read, probably. 
Yeah, it's like a cluster grenade or something. That also leaves a burn effect, it looks like. Probably said that if I would have read properly. Okay, yeah, we got this. Too good. Okay, and we continue down. Next part here, I like this. And mine. Let's go. Okay, I definitely need another story here. Also, now we have all these turret spots and we have four on the left and one on the right now, up here. I will add at least one more turret probably. Once we are closer to the night, for now I might build another building here. Active nighttime ability rocket launcher. Let's do that actually. And also this one, lock revealer. Okay, now we can use the active here. You can have two actives it looks like. Uh, two actives per day night cycle or whatever. So two day actives and two night actives. And we just revealed this area here. Um, this block releases fire where it glows, so you don't want to go towards this from the bottom, I think. Okay, got rid of it. It is very dangerous, it deals a lot of damage if you stand, or if your dudes approach it from the bad direction. Also, someone died. I think that was a miner. Let's get another miner here. Oh wait, upgrades. Let's get more health for now, so they don't die. There's another one already. Okay. And can we get a little bit more iron? And we can... Actually, we should save right now. We should try to get one more turret up before the night. Oh, actually, not this one. Where's the... Oh, it must be up here. It's here, probably. There's the one block that gives all other blocks more armor. Yeah, it's here. We can't approach it directly. We need to go around here, unfortunately. Oh, nice! The laser actually helped here with the bug which was coming up. Okay, I need to leave here. Get this. Can we afford another turret? I think we can. Okay. Uh, let's get another one of these. I think this is good up here with the cluster. So the... I want AoE damage up here, I think, as my first damage to wipe out all the small bugs. Wait, I also have an active nighttime ability. Let's see this. Uh, so I can press 1 here. Oh, I can aim. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Wait, I can aim more. How many shots? Oh, three, I guess. Okay, you can... Three times you can aim and shoot a missile. Oh, there's still one coming through. Oh, wait. Did I just right click? I might have just right clicked and uh, only shot one missile and then right click and then cancelled basically. That might have happened just now. Okay. I'm shooting three. Okay, got him. Let's continue mining. Oh, also use one. To see what's going on down here. Speed this up a little bit. Get the iron whenever it's ready.
drone station. At nighttime, or oh, nighttime ability, the building unleashes drones to seek and attack your enemies. That sounds cool. Uh, or swarmlet factory it produces swarmlet. Oh, this is swarmlet, I think. The second, is it? I think so. I think the red resource is swarmlet. So it's basically like uh, the iron factory here. Can we build one? What does it cost? Five, okay. Now we can. Let's get one. Yeah, it is the red resource, okay. Uh, drone station or rocket turret launches explosive rockets effective against long range targets or Laser Watchtower, the building releases a ray that deals damage to all enemies it hits. Uh, let's go for this one. Project uh, rockets, I mean. Oh, someone died. Another miner dead. We get another miner. Okay, this here we need to approach from the side again, so we don't burn. Okay, timer's running out. We will recall, yep. Also, let's slow down real quick. Um, Let's get one more turret here. Probably here. Which one now? Weakening. I don't want more... Something like this. Yeah, mortar. Effective against big groups of enemies. Let's get a mortar. Boom. Okay. <laughs> also, let's use our ability here. Nice. The rockets are pretty cool. The active ability. Also, I'm still not sure. Do these do anything here? Maybe I, I, I can sell this. I should sell this, maybe. Wait, let me pause real quick. I can sell this. And I even get... Is this full read? 100%. Oh, interesting. Let's do that. And now position it... Up here. So they actually fly through. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, this one. Okay, let's see how this goes. They... yeah, it still needs to deploy them now, but... Okay, now they actually hit. Huh. I don't know the text about being most effective at the bottom of the mine or something. A mine shaft. That is kind of confusing. I feel like it's better up here. At, uh, compared to the very bottom. Maybe this here, this... So... At the very bottom, they don't really fly in, but maybe up here or something. Anyways, we did it. Continue. Uh, also, let's use this. Oh, there is some coal. We should get that. Also, some meta resource. This is very slow. The red resource. Oh, we lost something. I think another miner. Miners are always dying. Okay, now we got both of these resources. Got him. Okay, someone died again. Oh, this one was a guard, I believe. Let's get another guard. Oh, uh oh, no, 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 don't. You need to approach this one from up here. Uh, wait, can I do this? 
No, not, no, 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 don't go there. <laughs> I need to approach this from the top. It hurts. The fire really hurts. And I want to avoid that. Okay. Um, we might just get another turret. We are actually, wait, we did lose a miner again. Get another miner. Get this. Okay, we will lose another guard. Oh no, the other blocked. What a hero. Okay, we get out of here. And let's build another turret real quick. Let's get the rocket turret down here. It has long range. Oh, another laser actually. It has even longer range. Okay, let's see this. Also, let's make use of our rockets. Okay, I need to account for travel time a bit better. We're doing fine here, I think. Yeah, we got this. Pew pew pew. Okay. Correct. Continue. Okay, can we mine this from top? From top. This should be the shortest way, right? So yeah. Get this from the top, so you don't die. Uh, also, let's use this. Okay, got him. Uh, what now? Can we level... Oh, yeah, let's also upgrade the... Guards. Hmm, where is the... Oh, there's coal. Destroy it faster. Got him. Okay, there's another one here. Okay, what do we build next? I guess a platform. We need more space. Can't really do anything else, right? Get a platform. Uh, what building do we want next? Actually for... wait, what is this? Uh, it deals much more damage to enemies with larger than 60% HP, effective at the top of mineshaft. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, active nighttime ability. Allows you to unleash a barrage of bullets. Uh, let's get this turret here. And let's put this up here probably in a bit. Um, for this here, you need a second lab to unlock the second column here. So there is a point in having multiple of the same buildings. Pretty much for every building I believe. There's always a reason why you would want that. Oh, here. Yeah. Still need this one. Do I see the other one? I might be blind, but I don't think so. Still one coal missing. Okay. Let's have a quick look at the buildings. What do I want? Um, I guess more miners, maybe, is the best thing here. Let's just get more miners. Oh, yeah, we need more miners. <laughs> one, is, one just died as well. 
And we need to get out of here in a moment and defend again. I feel like now our economy is pretty much set up, so we can... Oh, military dude also died. Let's get one. Um, our economy is pretty, pretty much set up. And now we mainly just try to defend. Also, let's get out of here. Wait, I wanted to build one of these turrets. Which one was it? Um... This one. Automatic turret. Build one up here. Okay, the mines actually do decent damage here, even to the big boys. But they also reload kind of slowly, right? Still, it looks pretty good. Maybe get more of those. Another one on the other side, maybe. Okay, I think we got this though. Go, go, go. Okay, speed up. Got him. Let's mine the rest here. Where is my hole? There it is. Get it. Also, meta resource. Collect this. Alright, we can still c recruit more. Uh, what do I need? I guess one of these. What now? Worker booster. Active data mobility allows you to boost workers in a radius. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Or drone station. Active nighttime mobility. Drones unleashed. Uh, let's get the worker boost. Can we buy that? How much is it? Uh, this one. Three and one. Okay. Need one more. Iron. Okay, we got it. Can we build it? No, we can. Worker booster. And we can use it. Okay. It's a radius though. Um, it, yeah, I know that it did say that, but <laughs> I'm just wondering how I would aim this now. Uh, I guess these three and this guy. This. Uh, this here, I think, wait, is this red resource? Wait, also, let's recruit more. One more of these. Oh, this again. Red resource, but also... I oh, is that a bug? A red resource bug? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> it is a red resource bug. Okay. Or at least a bug. I'm not sure about red resource right now. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have dig uh, dug that out. Uh, also, I need to retreat. Night time. Get out of here. Oh, fast. Oh my god. I'm too late. Am I? Run! Okay. Got him. <laughs> fast enough. Also, let's build one more. Oh, now it's too late for the miner. Or for the mine dude. Mine turret. Let's get one. Let's get the weakening turret. Let's see what that does. Okay, now they take double damage. I should. This would be better at the top, I guess. So it does that early. But yeah, it weakens and then they take double damage. Especially good against big boys, I guess. Oh, right, my ability. Okay, it's getting a bit more here.
Oh, I guess I should have cleaned these out instead with my active ability. Kill him! Okay, my core is taking some damage, but it's actually, it does have quite a bit of HP here. As long as we don't get fully overrun, we are kind of fine, I guess. Got him. Okay. Are we done here? Where's the... I thought we had all already. Did we not? Oh, it needs to get picked up. It's lying here on the ground. I also, I don't want to mine this thing. Don't mine it. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I guess we are done here. And just mine this. Can check out if anything is hiding here in these dark spots, I guess. But yeah, we are done here now. Enter and... Oop. Next morning we will drill down. And then we will be at 150 meter range. And that should be the... I know part here for well, this mission at least. Oh, there's meta resource. Cool, get it. Okay, let's speed up. There's not much to do anymore. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What? Okay, I didn't see. Wait. Something fell down. Is this here? Is this a boulder? If I mine this from below, it will fall down and kill everyone. <laughs> okay, good to know. You need to mine these, I guess. Probably, I didn't see, but I assume it was this. Uh, you need to mine these from the side or from the top, not from the bottom. <laughs> okay, that's fine though. We don't care about miners anymore, I think. Oh, uh, let's actually hire more. I'm not sure. I think we are done once we go down further. Maybe we need to mine more, actually. I don't I don't really know. We will figure it out. Also, yeah, let's everyone retreat, actually. It's fine. We are done here. Get another miner. Wait, why are you so expensive? That one just costs two instead of one. I guess because I'm above ten or something, then it gets more expensive. Can I upgrade something? I can. Um, wait. What's good? Upgrade this thing. And maybe this one as well? Okay. Can I upgrade more? No. Okay. Would be good. I feel like I'm missing some hard-hitting damage against big boys to get them below 50% HP. Once they are lower, the lasers will kind of take care of them. Okay, got this though. And we are going down. Alright, yeah, now we can hold a G to extract or we can continue mining and we can even continue getting more coal and mine even deeper so here you have a choice uh, if you want to extract or if you want to keep mining and collect more meta resources this is a meta resource for example so there's a yeah you need to assess your risk if you're feeling comfortable you can just continue if you want and collect more meta resources, but you need to extract. If you die here, you still lose all meta resources, I'm pretty sure. So you do have to, yeah, make that assessment. Uh, 
I will be extracting here now though because this will be the end of this video. Let's see how this finishes if we extract su successfully. Let's just hold G. Alright, everyone gets up. Chip is coming and is picking everyone up. They bring all the meta resources and everything home, I guess. And our core building is getting flung down into the core of the earth, I guess, or core of the planet. <laughs> okay, we mine and extract all the resources and then we blow up the planet. Seems good. Mission success. Uh, depth 150 meters, stays 12, core 96% health, I guess. And we got evacu evacuation difficulty. Uh, retrieved 14, contract reward 17, not sure what that means, but okay. First successful mission here. And now we are in the main menu and here are upgrades, which you can buy, of course, with meta resources. I only have the yellow one so far. Yeah, 168 of the yellow I have right now. Um, this is not available here uh, for now, available in, few, in full version. So this is blocked and thus also everything on the right side here. But I guess you can unlock all of this on the left side here uh, if you want to. So the playtest seems to be kind of extensive in my opinion. And yeah, uh, what is this though? Guards night shift. The guards work the night shift. At night they will shoot at monsters threatening the core. Oh, so yeah, right now the guards at night just stand around on the platform and don't do anything, but they can help out defend and defend uh, with the with the rest of my turrets there. That's nice. Research expansion unlocks a new branch of upgrades in the laboratory. Upgrades to increase visibility in the mine. Heal oh, heal workers. Yes, please. And even repair the core. That's cool. Uh... Recycler. This building allows you to process one type of ore into another. Interesting. Uh, what's down here though? Carrier priority protocol allows you to change the priority of ore for carriers. To increase the priority of the ore, click on it. If you click again, no one will lift this ore, which is useful if the ore is in the dangerous place, for example. Okay, more control. Or, or pick up and this one turret priority control allows you to change the priority of targets. Oh, that's so good I was wondering if this exists at all to increase the priority of the target click on it um, Oh Wait, how does this work though? This might be priority for every turret at the same time so I was wondering if you could just um, so the hard hitting turrets, if you could give them a priority to target the biggest enemies always, for example, and for the AOE explosion turrets uh, to target the smallest enemies, which are usually in groups or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I guess maybe not, but would have to see how it actually is in game. Anyways, yeah, got all of this and this was my first impression of this awesome game, Drill Core. Yeah, if you want to check it out, there's a playtest going on on Steam. I will leave the link down below if you want to sign up for that. I think they just accept everyone at the moment. Maybe if it gets too crowded, they will stop. I don't know how this works. So if you want to get in, maybe get in now before it's getting closed or something. Um, but yeah. It is a great game. I would love to play this when it when it fully releases for sure. I love these types of games. This is great. Anyways, GG's. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.